I most certainly can spend quite literally $30,000 on a fiberglass cleanup crew. It's Saturday, December 17th, and today's cleanup day. Clean up, buy fiber fucking glass. I, why am I yelling? I already started to take some stuff off my walls. My plan is... All these things should be planned to fit together well. Take everything out. Vacuum everything. A lot. Wipe everything down with vinegar. Vacuum everything. Again. Put everything back. This couch, goodbye. It's gonna be a long day, but it's like 9.30 in the morning. I have plenty of time. And then let me show you these fucking beds. Because every day I've had about two mattresses arrive and I don't even have half of them yet. But I have one, two, three, four. There's more stuff. It's just everywhere. So. We got a long day ahead of us. It's gonna be fun. I'll check in once I get everything off my walls. Okay, I have an update. I have a hat on, I have long sleeves. Everything, for the most part, is out of my room. This, I obviously am gonna do last. This is my cleaning fit check. And I tucked my socks into my pants. Once I start to get this out right now, I am gonna put on a mask. Yo, it's empty. All gone. I have a bedroom again. All I have to do now, all I have to do is gonna vacuum a lot, like four or five times, wipe down the walls, and then um, it should be time to move the new bed in. My new big fig mattress. I'm taking a break though, cause I'm tired. It's like 11 o'clock. It's been two hours of moving shit. Okay, hi. So I have vinegar and I have a spray bottle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in my spray bottle, dilute it with a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna have to go all around my room and literally every surface, let it dry, wipe it all away, and do that probably 10 or 15 times. Fucking wish me luck, bitch. That should be good. Water. Okay. Oh my God. All right, okay. Now we go spritzy spritz. <laughs> What's going on? Hi, welcome. I'm coming to you live, not live, from my bathroom. I'm doing laundry. I am hoping and praying my washing machine is able to kind of take care of some of this stuff. I don't feel great about it. So here's what I'm doing. I am putting this shit in and then I am dumping a fuck ton of vinegar and a little bit of baking soda to kind of get stuff moving around. I'm not adding any soap. So I'm washing it with the vinegar and the water, hot, 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 and then I'm putting it in a cold soapy wash. And then I'm about nearly cremating it in the dryer. Like I'm literally adding like a lot of vinegar. I'm probably gonna go to the store tomorrow and get more, probably four or five more gallons of vinegar to just wash, 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 wash my clothes. Because um, I'm not feeling confident because these washer and dryer are probably 10 years old. They're not looking great, we'll see. What I've understood just from trying to like literally solve this huge fucking issue, you can dissolve fiberglass with water and vinegar mixed together. And oftentimes the best way to do that is by using like a vinegar water mixture like 90 10 and then adding like a little drop of dish detergent. So that's what I did. I haven't even used the parts with soap and I can tell already just with the plain vinegar and water that my walls have much less fiberglass on them. And that's not with scrubbing anything that's simply just spraying the walls down. This white wall behind me, I very quickly rubbed a dry paper towel along. It's unbelievable. It's really taking it up. <laughs> These are my walls. This is the same wall. <gasps> There's no more fiberglass in my walls. There's definitely a little bit in my eye, but I think this means I can move my bed in. I know for a fact that I'm gonna have fiberglass on my carpet and I just can't get that out. So I'm gonna need to be very diligent about vacuuming my room every day, multiple times a day for the next few months, because that's the only way that I'm gonna be able to ensure that, you know, this fucking probably 30 year old carpet in my bedroom is being tilled and taken care of in the best way that I possibly can. Because here's the thing, people keep saying that the only solution is to move. People keep saying the only solution is to spend 
quite literally $30,000 on a fiberglass cleanup crew who come in in hazmat suits and do this whole thing. And they do it very diligently and they do it successfully. But that's not a possibility for anybody. I couldn't even afford the mattress. You know what I mean? So like I most certainly cannot spend tens of thousands. I couldn't even spend a thousand dollars on anything, let alone a specialty cleanup crew. I have to do it myself. I don't want to do it myself. I wish I could just fucking scarlet witch myself into a new reality where there is no such thing as fiberglass. Unfortunately, that is not yet possible for Cody. So here we are. I have vacuumed my room six times already. There's absolutely no dog hair in my room. I'm positive of that. And that's with two dogs. I'm going to wash my walls with a rag, with the soap solution, let that dry, wash my walls, let it dry, do three or four rounds of that. And then after I've washed the walls and there's dust, everything, let the room settle for like probably an hour. And then I'll vacuum it a few more times and then I can move my new bed in. Also, I must say, I have one of those vacuums that you take the canister out and then you shove it in the thing and it like sucks it out. And I love it. I love it. I love it. This vacuum has pulled so much fiberglass out of my carpet. I'll do like a full review on this vacuum if you guys want me to because it's fucking insane. It's the best vacuum my mom and I have ever had. And we're like very picky vacuum people. And by we're, I mean my mom. If she likes the vacuum, it's a good fucking vacuum. I would literally recommend this over a Dyson. Oh my God. Speaking of Dyson, I have one of those Dyson bladeless fans that you can't kill yourself with. I got it for myself when I went to college. That fan, baby, <gasps> it's just clogged full of fiberglass. Goodbye, Dyson fan. Dyson, hello. Maybe they'll send me a new fan or an air purifier. That would be nice too. Cody needs a new fan. Cody needs a new air purifier. Yeah, Cody needs a new fan. Cody wants an air purifier. Cody can't afford to move. Nobody can afford to move. Hooray, I'll check back in. I think once I start, I guess, to put my bed together. Oh my God, it's happening. Thank you, big fig. <sighs> Whoa, update. It's, I think it's like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm making the bed frame. Boo is helping me a little bit. And I'm almost done. I just got to finish putting together this wood bit and I'm literally just adding like bolts and screws and washers and stuff. And then I roll out the wooden planks and I open up this mattress and let it open while I take a shower and decontaminate. And then I sleep. <laughs> it's hissing. Oh my God, I have a new bed. I'm gonna go shower and lay on it for the first time. Okay, this is sincerely the first time I'm laying on it. I kind of crawled across it to put sheets on. They give me a mattress protector too, thanks. So I have some semblance of like its texture, but I really haven't been on it. So here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Miss Big. Mr. Fig, you have completely outdone yourselves. This bed is so comfortable. What do you think, Bobby? She's wondering where all her stuff went. Hi, I am making tacos. People are always surprised to hear this, but I don't eat meat. I've been a vegetarian for like three years. I just don't eat meat. And I think people are like, fat, bacon? So that's cool or whatever, but I'm making tacos. And that's it. And I'm listening to sibling rivalry. The sibling rivalry. There's all my fucking shit. Look, I have these little like bowls. Cute. And then I'm gonna bake them once I have all my fucking fixings. And by fixings, I mean my B-E apostrophe F beef and cheese and taco sauce. Okay, ciao. Ooh, bitch. Hi, it's two o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm whispering, I'm home alone. It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm in my new bed. I'm really enjoying it. It is so, oh, it's so comfy. And I'm eating. Okay, love you, bye. See you in the morning. Good morning. I feel very well rested. And now today I have to clean my kitchen. I put my bedroom back together. That mattress is so nice. So while I've begun to clean this crazy situation up, I was watching. Okay, actually shut the fuck up. So backstory, last night could not sleep. And I think it was because I was like, just so revved up from cleaning that I just like couldn't go to bed. I think I said this last night. I don't fucking remember because I couldn't sleep. I started watching this documentary on Netflix called Volcano about the White Island eruption.
I couldn't do it. And it wasn't that it was scary. It was like, it was mortally horrific. That's the way I would describe it. And I was like, well, maybe I'm tired. Like, Lola. and then I woke up again, tried to watch it again. Oh my God, I have to stop watching it. It's scary. Oh my God, those poor people. I made it about halfway through. I'm gonna try to put this shit back. I have a lot to do today.